cell gets too big, its surface area to volume ratio is no longer able to meet its needs. The cell has two options. It could die, or it can divide. Cell division is the process by which cells produce other cells. It's a little different for prokaryotes and eukaryotes, but the general idea is the same. They need to make copies of the materials and then divide into two cells. Cells need to do this to repair damaged tissue, to grow, and to make more cells. DNA needs to be copied before division can occur, and in order to make sure the copies are divided evenly, eukaryotic cells wind their DNA up into compact bundles. The DNA wraps around proteins called histones, which coil up tightly to form very dense, compact chromosomes. The chromosomes exist only just before and during replication. Chromosomes have a basic structure. It's made of two identical halves, and each half is called a chromatid. When the cell divides, the chromatids separate from each other and go into the new daughter cells that form. The chromatids are held together at the centromere in the center. If you took all of your DNA, as it appeared just after mitosis, you would see these chromosomes. These are all 46 chromosomes of a human male. There are 23 pairs of chromosomes, 46 individual ones. One half came from mom, and the other half came from dad. The first 22 pairs of chromosomes are said to be homologous because they are the same size and shape and carry the same types of information. The last pair of chromosomes are called the sex chromosomes because they determine whether the person is a male or a female. An X and a Y chromosome makes a male, but two X chromosomes makes a female. Right now we can see all 46 chromosomes. The full 46 chromosomes in humans are the diploid number. Any cells with two sets of chromosomes are diploid, but any cells with only one set of chromosomes are haploid. In humans, sperm and egg cells are the only haploid cells, and they have just 23 chromosomes. The reason for that is that during fertilization, the sperm and egg fuse and make a new human who has a diploid set of chromosomes. We'll learn more about how the sex cells are made during another video. Most of a cell's lifetime is spent doing its job during interphase, and only a small part of its life is spent dividing in mitosis and cytokinesis. Interphase is sometimes broken into three parts. G1 is where cell growth occurs, S is DNA replication, and G2 is growth and preparation for division. Mitosis is the division of the nucleus, and cytokinesis is the division of the cytoplasm. In the end, there are two identical cells called daughter cells, and the cycle can begin again. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.